Rosie Hardy Gardening. I'm just going to go through a quick tutorial on how to prick out seedlings. So you've got your old seed tray, you've got some root trainers here that you're just going to do your plugs. Just put your compost into this and make sure that they're full over the top and then same with the other one, filling them up tamping them down because that gets the compost in there or the potting media so much better this is a peat free potting well it's a seed sowing and cutting mix that we're using here um, so it's completely peat free you can see by tamping it down you're getting you can quickly give it a little bit of a push down with your fingers like so and then cover over the top bit there then you're ready to go and put them back into here that way you can prick out into these trays really nicely and easily so because i've got two different ones here it's great because it means i haven't got to worry about where i'm labeling i'm going to do two different sorts here we've got nigella nice little young seedlings pick them out lovely long roots put a hole press the root in done and you just carry on doing that so nice hole in the bottom and push in if you haven't got a smart dibber like this pencils work just as well the interesting thing with nigella is especially this variety is that they've got yellow roots um, so and plants all have different colored roots so that is these going through so now i'm going to use the um, other variety and this happens to be purple fennel lovely purple leaves on it and again you can just push the roots down into the soil um, there's really no difference between how you do this one and the other one all pricking out tends to be very very similar you have your plant you have your root you make a hole and you carefully extract it from the tray and you push the roots down into the holes um, and that is basically all you are doing but you are transferring them into um, individual cells so they get away and grow nicely rather than being in a massive seed tray like this where they just get all of their roots jumbled up together and um, make really doesn't help them at all once you've got them in here good idea to label them so we're just going to put labels into both of these uh, so that we know what we've got. We've got Nigella Persian Rose and we've got Purple Fennel which is Phoeniculum purpurea. Now we have our fennel and our Nigella. We're going to go and water them and then they're ready to go and sit on the floor to root out and then you will have your plants to be able to plant out wherever you want to put them. Now we're going to water them. Just start the watering can off away from where they are. Go over the top Go back across and make sure there's a bit of a puddle in there. Stop your watering can away from the plant material. Leave them there for 10-15 minutes and then take them and put them wherever you're going to put them in your greenhouse or your cold frame. And then they're ready for you to either pot on or put them straight out into the garden when they've rooted down. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel.